What's going on everyone? So let me tell you about everything before I get into this. So yesterday I shot a video talking about my upcoming book Tales from the Forbidden Forest. I go back to rewatch it so I can do whatever I need to as far as editing goes. And I realize I forgot to talk about a couple things. So I had to delete a 20 minute video. And I reshot it this morning. So this morning, set up my ring lights, set up my tripod, get my camera ready. I sit back down, I start talking about everything. I remembered everything that I forgot. I was so happy with myself on that one. So I finish everything up. I'm like, all right, the video is shot. I can go on ahead, finish doing the edits on one last short story that's going in the book. Then after that, I can do what I need to with the video, get the premiere set up for this week. And that's it. But first I got to put my tripod away. I got to put my ring lights away. I got my camera away. I've got everything put up and then I get a knock on the door. FedEx shows up with one of the books right after I put everything away. <sighs> That's all I got. I don't know if anyone else has had to deal with that before. I'm pretty sure you have, but if you have, put a laughing emoji in the comments below. Let's pretty much the best thing we can do is just laugh at ourselves for this. But yeah, we've got an unboxing video. I already know what's in here. Um, the last few unboxing videos have been books from some of my friends. This time it is something that I'm in. Yay! What type of book is it? I already know what it is, but y'all don't know just yet. Invoice. And I gotta say, this thing looks pretty nice. So this unboxing video, Midnight Riders. From Ink Feathers Publishing. Um, so this is my first of currently five books I'm gonna be in from Ink Feathers. And then box away. I'm actually in my kitchen right now, so I'm right near the trash can. And apologies, because I think y'all may have just seen my butt. Luckily, I'm clothed, right? So, Ink Feathers Publishing, uh, found out about them through one of the groups I'm in on Facebook at a couple of different openings. And they said they were had a few that had some poetry, so I start looking through their stuff. And this particular one, I was looking at the rules, and they allowed reprints. So for anyone that is wondering, my poem Homecoming is in this. I found out about this probably about a month or two after... Organic Ink Volume 1 went out of print from Dragon Soul Press. And a lot of you have, that read my poetry have told me that Homecoming is your favorite poem. I'm pretty sure when I'm long gone from this world, Homecoming is going to be the poem I'm remembered for. I know that sounds a little arrogant, but that's the type of responses I get for Homecoming. So I submitted Homecoming. I 100% had the rights to it, so I thought, you know what, 
I want more people to read this poem because that's the poem that everyone tells me they enjoy. So I submitted Homecoming, and a couple days later, I get an email informing me that I had been accepted. And I apologize. Again, ring light and glossy covers do not blend together. So, I do apologize, but there's the front. I'm just going to have to read the back of this since I'm not really seeing a spot where everyone can really read it without ring light being in the way. Okay, since everyone can now see the cover. Do you feel stuck in your own life? Are you going through the same motions and call it a living? Have you lost your joy and desperately crave for a much needed seclusion from everything around? Best by the hustle and chaos of big cities, Midnight Riders offers you peace and solitude, a beautiful way to embrace silence. This anthology of poems has familiar and unfamiliar terms and phrases, some modern, some long, and others freshly minted. All forms of poetry here are the interplay of words and rhymes, some of them strung together to recreate sounds, images, and ideas that are too complex or abstract to describe plainly. Somewhere along the flipping of pages, be prepared to get lost in the world of poetry. So readers, Get ready to become a part of the midnight world awaiting you. That was my first time seeing this, so that was actually really good. Uh... Yay, there's a table of contents. Yes, I had to say that because I'm in a few anthologies where that is not the case. So I'm going to... So, uh, because I'm not sure full extent here, I'm only going to show off that part. Homecoming, I see a Williams, that's me. And I've recently befriended a couple of people that are in this book, so I definitely have to check this out so I can check out some of the poetry written by my new friends. To anyone who wants to check this out, my poem Homecoming is the one that's in here, so you may or may not have read it already. And to anyone that's interested, um, this is not, like I mentioned, this is not the first time Homecoming's been published. So if you would like a video of me talking about the publications of Homecoming, comment below. Tell me if that's something you would be interested in. Uh, again, here is the cover to Midnight Writers. And again, this is the first of currently five books I'm in from, Midnight, from Ink Feathers Publishing. I've got... Two other books I'm in that feature poems, and I've got two anthologies I'm in from them that feature short stories. And unlike this one, the stuff that's in the other ones are brand new to everyone, so hopefully everyone gets a chance to check those out. If you are a writer and you're trying to get some more stuff published, Ink Feathers has several openings for stuff. If you get accepted, they send you a nice little certificate for being published. You get your own profile on their website. Uh, there's various things on the Ink Feathers website you have access to. So give, a, give the website a check. See what you think of it. Check out the stuff on there. See if they're a publisher you would like to work with. Obviously, I want to work with them since I'm, like I said, this is currently the first to five. But yeah, that pretty much sums it up. Midnight Writers from
from Ink Feathers Publishing is now available. I will have some links in the description below where you can pick up Midnight Riders. I will also have the Ink Feathers website as well as their submissions page in the description below so you can check them out. I will also have all their social media pages down below so you can give them a like, give them a follow, check out some of the stuff that they've got coming up, some of the stuff that's already available. And also, I'm going to check with them, see if it's all right to do a reading for Homecoming. That way, to those who are new to the poem, you'll actually get a chance to hear me read it. If I do that, that will be on my second channel. Link will be in the description below. I've also got my own social media pages in the description below for you to follow and like if you're not already following me on social media. Give this video a thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button if you have not already subscribed to this channel. Every little bit helps, so thank you for watching. And I will catch you on the next one.